All right, in this video, I'm going to be showcasing you a new Titan build. This was originally a bow Titan build that I uh, theory craft way back when I don't remember, but it was originally meant for point of the stack with Eye of the Storm Archer Sempo because it was originally the only bow with Eye of the Storm and I wanted to pair it with Lorely Splendor. So you have this middle ground where you're dueling someone, you're low HP, but at the same time you're healing through Lorely and you're activating Eye of the Storm for more accuracy and handling, all right? So, um, ideally, with the new version, you kind of want a solar weapon with Eye of the Storm. Uh, you can get Igneous Hammer now with Eye of the Storm, which is really nice. But basically, the plan is, again, to duel someone. If you're low HP, you get Restoration. You can proc something like um, Eye of the Storm. And you can extend the duration of Restoration through Ember of Empyrean. Now, this is just an example because I needed the Resilience, but you can also swap Ember of Mercy with like Ember of Torches if you want Radiant through your melee. Um, I'm also pairing this with the Conditional Finality. And the reason for that is that because it is both a stasis and solar weapon, the way it works is that when you shoot the first shot, you can see at the bottom left of my screen here, it will immediately turn into a solar weapon. So for example, if I have restoration, right? It's on for another five seconds, I get a kill. And as you can see there, even though that's the stasis final blow, it extends the restoration because the weapon is now solar. So the game kind of thinks that it's a solar weapon final blow now it doesn't work if the combatant have an energy shield but you don't really have that inside of pvp right now that's why you are using conditional finality because that is the only kinetic slot weapon that that allows you uh, to extend the restoration like that or if you have an osmosis weapon you can do that as well if you use your grenade but Conditional is just pretty much all around a an S tier weapon still. However, I would argue that this loadout is not as good as Bubble Titan inside of 3v3. And the reason for that is because Restoration is not as good as Overshields. Overshields just allows you to survive uh, one shots that otherwise wouldn't allow you to one shot. And um, for example, I play with Bow, right? I need to shoot Titans in general, like on average. 2.5 times because I don't always perfect draw my weapon unless I'm I'm on a, my uh, hunter and if I am playing on my hunter I'm probably gonna dive in use the um, melee to glaive combo which is inconsistent to one shot even though it deals around 246 damage total and the reason for that is because when you dive a barricade titan when they do the barricade they have a 20% damage resist within that animation so any type of dive build that uh, a bow has is pretty much nullified by the overshield that a titan have so if you want to fight titans with bows i'd recommend not playing a bow because they do have snipers instead which leads us to this build which is really good inside of sixes i tested that inside of control and i don't know when i'm gonna cut in the video but you can also use this build inside of checkmate since you are using a 120 hand cannon and a conditional finality you're pretty much just playing the game normally compared to everybody else and on top of that you get your barricade and restoration which are two of the most powerful effects inside of checkmate because they do have a slower ttk and you do have healing and on top of that again sunspots does regenerate your ability faster also i forgot to mention that you can also use a weapon with incandescent since you are mostly using this build inside of 636 you can pair that with ember of singeing your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets which is a plus because your grenades actually scorch enemies most of the time and i did have a couple of clips in control from yesterday i tried it with ignis hammer i tried it with the corona 22 with zen moment target lock i also had summoner with range funder golden tricorn Abyss Defiant with Outlaw Kill Clip. I don't I don't really like Abyss Defiant. It's a 360. It didn't really feel that good. And basically, yeah, that's about it. Wait, hey, what the fuck is all this? Damn. You can't even see him because of your shitty texture pack. I can take it. I can always just take it. What? what? Wait, pottery? I don't know what the fuck this oh, pottery wow. thing is. Hard to shit. Oh, we gotta uh, find one first. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's that's what the sniffer, by the way. Uh, a, a, uh, a Minecraft for gold, and we play it. Do it one more time. Okay, actually, I'm gonna go up there. I don't know why. <clears throat> we gotta build a. Yeah, if we get if we have enough people. Uh, I'm breaking. Oh, I'm done. Also, I want a. Uh... Yeah. So this is yours, and then this is done. Bro. No. 
Oh, it's just like the easiest raid in the game. Don't even worry about it. I like this thing a lot. Uh, horror stories? Yeah, it isn't bad. I'm gonna start plugging the controller back and then I'm gonna fail. Hmm. That's what I'm target. gonna do. Moving target. <laughs> Go. So, if you guys want to know the build, here you go. I'm using Burning Maul. Uh, Burning Maul is actually pretty good, surprisingly. And I also have a faster cooldown compared to Hammer of Soul. Rally Barricade because it has a way faster cooldown than Towering Barricade. And the reason you don't use Towering is because, again, in 3v3s, you probably don't want to use this loadout still. I don't know. I haven't tested it in 3v3s because Trials is out tomorrow. I'm probably going to test it out then if I do feel like playing on a Titan. Inside of, three, uh, inside of Sixes, you don't need your barricade to peak sniper lanes. You don't need your barricade to um, resurrect your teammate. So you pretty much only want to use it as a fodder for your restoration effect. You also have catapult lift. This can be whatever you want. Catapult is just the best move movement option inside of mouse and keyboard because you can skip with it. And I also have hammer strike here to ape a little bit using the shotgun. Although you can also use throwing hammer if you want. And I also have a tripman grenade here because it's just typically very, very good. Um, for the aspects here, the most important one here is Soul Invictus. You can use Roaring Flame or Consecration for the other one, but I don't really like Consecration because it doesn't allow you to do this, right? You want to ape someone with the shotgun and then instantly dive in with the melee. Now, the reason Soul Invictus is really good is because it can provide you with ability regen. If you go ahead and read Soul Invictus here, it says your abilities regenerate faster and your super drains more slowly while standing in a sunspot. So if I use my grenade or if I use my um, melee to dive in, I can pop my Soul Invictus just by popping my barricade. I get my melee back again instantly there. Not instantly, it's, it's like three seconds, but... Um, and my abilities would recharge faster. You can't really see it because it's a very subtle effect but it is happening. Again, I mentioned this before, but you can use healing grenades with Ember of Benevolence for even more ability regen if you want to support your teammate inside of a game mode like Checkmate. And then just to go through my loadout yet again, I'm using Conditional Finality because although it can be inconsistent, it depends the ordering of the server tech, I think, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not gonna pretend that I know what, I'm, uh, what is happening behind the scenes, but this can allow you to extend restoration and on top of that, it is just typically a good weapon. Igneous Hammer, again, typically a good weapon, although this auto rifle, this is a world drop, unfortunately, but if you do get this roll, it is really, really good. Zen moment, uh, stability from ricochet round, stability for, from chambered compensator, and stability from stability masterwork. Um, ideally, I would like more range from this thing, but you know, beggars can't be choosers when it comes to the world drop weapons. Um, target lock, really, really good. I don't know if it's just target lock, but anyways, this auto rifle just feels insanely good. And I almost forgot, I'm also using double kickstart mods for utility kickstart. And that's because if you do proc um, the Soul Invictus there, or not Soul Invictus, Lorely, it actually works, right? Because your class ability is fully depleted. Um, the number is gonna be lower inside of PVP, but again, it still works. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think could make this loadout better. These are all my mods, and then everything else is just harmonic mods for solar weapons. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.